No. Um, and I'm going to turn on transcripts too. Uh, somewhere. I don't know where to turn those on. Elizabeth, can you do that? I can try. I don't know if I have the permissions, but. Okay. Oh, somebody did it. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. A participant. Thank you, participant. Okay. Um, well, welcome. This is uh, the great turnout uh, 2023. So this is the chaos uh to do OSPO um, meeting. And we're gonna be meeting you know, every two weeks, I think is our cadence uh, for this meeting. We have these minutes here um, at the top of this as well. We have uh, our GitHub repository. This is kind of for, for new folks um, joining this call. So just kind of a couple resources that we have. Um, we also have what we call a metrics tracking sheet. So um, we can bring that up. In the chaos project, we track new and um, currently developed metrics. So you can take a look at that. One of the things that we do talk about around OSPOs a lot is metric models. So just, I'm not gonna get too much into that. I just wanna make sure you see those resources that are available to you. Um, a lot of great responses. Does anybody have any questions about that? Kind of the resources that we have? Just to add, Matt, uh, we yeah. have a... Slack channel, I see in the previous uh, December one notes that we have a link, but that link is expired. So I tried to see, but there's no option to extend it. So if somebody can look into that, it will be helpful as a resource for someone to join. I'll do that right now. Okay. okay. Thank awesome. you, Elizabeth. All right. So um, so honestly, I, I thought today just for, for 2023, we could spend a little bit of time uh, kind of goal setting for this uh, for this working group. Um, I think the the goal of all of our chaos project efforts are around uh, creating artifacts or creating things that are useful in practice. So as an example, um, we have a, a chaos diversity equity and inclusion working group similar to the OSPO working group and you know one of our outputs has not only been to develop the metrics, uh, that are important for diversity, equity, and inclusion in open source, but we've also developed the diversity, equity, and inclusion event badging program to help event coordinators improve diversity, equity, and inclusion in their own in their own events. As an example, so I, I think you know for goal setting, um, I'd love to maybe talk through a few things that we might like to to focus on um, during 2023 that we think might be. Uh, like achievable outcomes in the chaos project too. We always have a, a phrase, which is just helping people move off zero, trying to improve the current situation that we have in front of us. Um, and so with 19 people, I don't think I expected this many people on the call. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> um, I had actually thought about breakout rooms for a, a little bit. Do you think I should maybe do that? Or should I just what do y'all think? Y'all know each other real well. Is it is it going to work if we just kind of say, let's open it up and maybe put down a few items in this document right here and then speak to some of those items? Or do you think I should try to figure out how to set up a breakout room? I don't know that I've done that <laughs> very um, recently. I mean, since we're all restarting, Matt, maybe it just yeah. makes sense to be kind of hanging out and loose today there's a lot of new faces I, I do know some people but i don't know a lot of these people and maybe just sure kind of getting the the vibe of the room for this time and being more structured next time that's my personal thought anyway okay any other thoughts from folks so were you suggesting introductions as well i'm, I'm not averse to them but okay. <laughs> We can do that as well. Any other thoughts for this one? Uh, maybe an intro with uh, like what they want to see uh, from this group or what they want like to achieve or something along those lines. Okay. Have... Okay. Uh, other folks, ideas? Um, I had a idea on mine based on, so yeah, Anna from the Tudor Group, from manager at Tudor Group, uh, 
I'm also uh, with all the people from the chaos community in APAC time zones, and this topic came out of mine, and they agreed to focus, like define some kind of context to work on the metrics, because OSPOs are quite diverse. They have different challenges and can be chaotic to try to put, like for instance, release a new metrics models uh, for what? Like try to give some kind of context first. Like for instance, they agreed to uh, focus more on the sustainability part. Like uh, what metrics can be thought at, at what set of metrics can be uh, think about uh, in order to um, help with the sustainability of OSPOs and make sure that uh, the OSPO is um, is uh, sharing the value uh, across other organizations. This is one example that in the APAC OSPOlogy community they decide to work on. Um, but I think like having that kind of a structure, like first define the context on what kind of metrics do we want to focus within the OSPOverse and with, within all the different OSPO responsibilities, and then define uh, the kind of metrics that each OSPO, depending on their industry, they can think of. Uh, might be uh, one of the suggestions. Okay, great. Thank you, Anna. So I, I just jotted that down as defining kind of context of concerns or context of, of focus. Where metrics... Or even like call it challenges. Okay. Might be also... Uh, not. I, I know some of the to the group community are there. So I don't know where are their thoughts on that. I think that was all pretty well stated, Anna. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Um, and just a little context for folks as well. Um, when Anna was talking about metrics and metrics models, in the chaos project, metrics are very atomic kind of measures. So there are things like age of an issue or age of a poll request. So they're usually kind of very small and, and finite. Models are a collection of, say, six metrics that are brought together to, to try to address what Anna had talked about, for example, around something like sustainability. And just kind of okay. Well, Okay, thanks, Anna. And Anna, you did introduce yourself. Uh, so that's also very good. Um, maybe we can do just really brief introductions. Um, I'll just, I'll start because uh, there's so many people. Um, I'm Matt German Prey. I'm one of the co founders of the Chaos Project, and I'm a professor uh, in, uh, in the university here at the University of Nebraska Omaha. Um, Sophia, why don't I turn it over to you and you can introduce yourself? Uh, hello, <clears throat> Sophia. I'm in the OSPO at Google, and I've been working with Chaos for the last couple of years. We're doing any other fun facts, or should I just pass it on to the next person? Well, with 21 people, we might just need to. <laughs> Let's go to Vinod. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm Vinod Dahuja. I'm a PhD student at the University of Nebraska Omaha, and I've been with Chaos since 2017. Yeah, and I do research in open source. So yeah, that's pretty much about me. And I've been involved in this working group uh, since it was value working group when it started and then as it evolved to OSPO. So I would love to know you all what you want to see from this group and how we can help and address those things. So I'll pass on to uh, Steven. I'm Stephen Jacobs. Um, I run an entity at the Rochester Institute of Technology called Open at RIT, which kind of is a hybrid of an OSPO and an academic research support, digital research support entity. Um, I represent RIT to the National Academy of Science of Engineering and Medicine's Higher Education 
leadership and open scholarship group and I'm a member of the to do group I just rolled off the steering committee. Thanks, Stephen. Do you want to pass it on? Uh, Sophia. She already went. Oh, sorry. Brain dead. Um, Anne already said who she was, and I have to scroll down to see who else is in the room. Okay, Luis. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, my name is Luis Cañas Diaz. Uh, I've been uh, involved in the in the Grimoire Lab project inside, inside Chaos, but uh, to be honest, I haven't been very active lately. So it is my, my first time here. Uh, I'm also a co-founder of Viterja, uh, which is a, a company that, that works providing uh, metrics and insights based on, on data. And big disclaimer, one of our customers are, are OSPOS. So uh, I may be biased by, by my, my company. Thank you, Lewis. You want to hand it off? Yep, yeah. uh, Christine. Uh, hi, um, Christine, and I am part of the OSPO at F5. Uh, this is my first hop onto the chaos. I've kind of read the website a little bit. So interested to just kind of learn more about metrics. And I'll pass this over to Dawn. I'm Dawn Foster. I work in VMware's open source program office running the uh, community strategy function. I'm on the governing board of chaos and I just rolled off of the to do group steering committee. So I'm kind of involved in all of the things related to this working group. And I will pass it on to Elizabeth. Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth. I'm the chaos community manager. Um, so feel free to ask me any questions. You can ping me on Slack, whatever, if you have questions about chaos specifically, and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Um, I'm mostly here just to listen and support the group however I can. So I will pass it along to Emma. Sorry, Emma. Or not. <laughs> You're muted. You are totally muted. All right, maybe we'll go, we'll come back to Emma. <laughs> okay, I'll pass it along to James. Hi, I'm James Siri. Uh, I'm with the Microsoft OSPO. Uh, I am here because I think Chaos is a very wonderful project. I found it when I was working at the OSPO at Amazon, uh, and I'm here to hopefully learn more and figure out ways that I can. Uh, Help the project. Uh, I'll pass it to Lucas. Hey, I'm Lucas. Uh, I, uh, I'm a Microsoft employee working at GitHub, and I recently joined GitHub's OSPO. Uh, so that's that's why I'm here, I'm mainly lis listening and seeing how we what we can do as GitHub to help. Uh, it's getting kind of hard to figure out who hasn't I done the same yet. Thing. I, yeah. can, I, can <laughs> I can go now and then I'll take the baton. Sorry, my window yes. was frozen. I was clicking on it and it, so that was embarrassing. Hi, uh, I'm Emma. I work on Microsoft's open source programs office and uh, being part of the chaos project in one way or another for quite a long time. I'm a big fan of the work and also excited always about the different opportunities that that work um presents itself so i'm just happy to be here and i will hand it off to i remember who um any any anania anania thank you thank you all right thanks uh i am a program manager in the f5 open source program office and i'm starting my first term at the steering committee for the to-do group so i will pass it on to chan Hi, everyone. My name is Chan Vung. Um, I am from the Comcast OSPO, and I'm joining this group to learn more about uh, metrics for the community. Um, I'll pass it on to Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie Luigi. I'm at the, um, at the UC Santa Cruz OSPO, as well as the Center for Research and Open Source Software here at uh, UCSE. And I I'm here because I chaos has been great and been super helpful. The website and uh, what's already been done has been super helpful for us with the grading of metrics and talking and especially when we're looking at how to you know uh, assess how projects we're thinking about doing and and giving them kind of you know things to look at when you know to to judge success and and help. So um, definitely interested in um, what we have to say today. 
Thanks. Oh, and I will go to Ayamid, if I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, it's uh, it's Ayamidi. It, it's fine. Ayamidi. Yeah. Yes. Um. Hi everyone. I'm Ayamidi, a product designer at Digit Insurance. I'm currently working um working with the team product team at product design team at Chaos um to de design the um diversity and inclusion badges the websites and um, it's great to be here. You want to hand it off? Okay. Uh. I'll pass it on to um, Renisha. I'm sorry if I didn't. Yeah, you pronounce it right. It's Renisha. Um, I'm Renisha Nellums. I'm part of the OSPO at Indeed. And I'm also a member of the Chaos Risk Metrics Working Group. I've been involved with a lot of uh, met op open source metrics uh, efforts within Indeed. We're in the process of creating a dashboard. Um, right now to kind of visualize all of them and I'm eager to share what we've learned internally with this group about use cases and decisions we're making around those metrics but also to kind of learn from the group and I will pass it on to Zach have you gone yet I don't think you I have not. thanks uh yeah I'm Zach Copert um from the GitHub um OSPO and um I'm here because I'm interested in metrics, um, not only for GitHub, our product, but also for GitHub internally. Um, we've been very free form with how we've done uh, our, our OSPO so far, adding a lot of structure um, and interested in, uh, in metrics specifically. I'll pass it on to uh, Ruth. Hi, everyone. Uh... It's um, so nice to meet everyone, and this is one of the biggest meetings we've had in chaos. So, um, so I have been in chaos for two years, I think about three years since 2020, and I also the African chapter of the chaos project. And in the spirit of learning about OSPOs, I joined the to do group last year and started learning about OSPOs. And, um, I'm currently working with um, Biteja as an open source consultant, so super excited to be here. So I think um I think everyone has gone. Oh, I think Abigail hasn't gone. I think have you gone? Uh I haven't gone. Uh yeah, I can go. Hi. Hi. Go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abby. Um I work at GitHub. I run our open source maintainer programs. Um, I've been a big fan of chaos for a while, so really happy to be here. I learned about this working group recently and thought I'd check it out. So I'm here to learn mostly, um, but really excited about this work and happy to contribute where I can. And has Rhonda gone? I don't think so. Hi, I'm Rhonda Edwards and I'm with the uh, VMware OSPO. I've been there for about three years. Um, I'm not, um, I haven't coded for a really long time. I'm really in a support role, helping to communicate a lot of the ideas um, throughout the VMware company from the OSPO group. So um, getting uh, the folks excited about what we do at OSPO, um, can supporting all of their, uh, all of the engineers and developers in their projects. Um, I have been introduced to CAS by the esteemed Don Foster. Um, and her amazing team, who um, I feel are just uh, leaders within the whole like sort of metrics and um, uh, being able to put some value around our participation in each one of the projects. So I'm here to learn. I'm here to help. Um, but uh, thank you for this welcome. Thank you. Has everybody gone? I think we may have had some people join and leave during the introduction. So my number stays at 21. So I'm not sure you see what I'm saying? Like I, I was trying to track that during the during the introductions. So if anybody hasn't gone, would you maybe raise your hand or just speak up? That would be cool. All right. All right, well, gosh. Uh, you know, I'm kind of taken back, taken aback, just with the level of interest. So, 
Um, thank you for, for being here. Um, maybe, you know, if we want to do something less formal today, um, what might be useful is if we, what would you think? If we just took like five minutes to this list that we have in front of me here without going into breakout rooms, because I would <laughs> totally mess that up. I promise I'd probably kick everybody out of the meeting. Um, but if you could just go to this list, um, I think in the chat, you have a link to this. And honestly, the thing I would ask for you is to, to reflect on what you would like to see from this group. So for example, I put a few examples at the top, like the release of new metrics models that would help solve problems within an OSPO. Or another example could be, for example, um, engaging in more talks at conferences about metrics used within OSPOs. I'm totally just coming up with ideas here. Or um, providing publications from Chaos and To Do about uh, uh, use use case stories or use cases that OSPOs have been involved in that have deployed metrics in successful ways. Um, so I'm again really interested in in really tractable outcomes that we could do for 2023. I'd love to have the conversation here um, and use GitHub and Google Docs to kind of structure that conversation. Um, but then out of this group of amazing people, like how, how we can produce things that can help others who can't be here and, and help yourself who can be here as well. So if you could maybe just take five minutes and, and put down any ideas that you might have, that would be really helpful for me so that we can kind of structure the conversation going forward in 2023. So I'm going to turn off my mic. I preferred itching, by the way.
be another minute or so to get down any last thoughts that you might have. All right. Um, I give anybody an opportunity to to speak to anything they wrote down if they'd like. That would be great. It's also great to go the other way and not do that. <laughs> so I just like to articulate one thing. Matt, yeah, that's okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. I added the and it's kind of more of a list than a description. The lightweight, remixable, forkable reusable tooling because, um, I mean, we've been working on metrics models for OSPO for this concept for like about a year. And the, the wall that we keep hitting is around tooling and what data should we use and what, what can someone build and then give to another team or another maintainer that's easy to like just change a data source or, you know, like uh, alter the query really easily. Like that for us is um, like something that we're thinking about building or like starting to consider like how can we do that and I'd love to bring that conversation and work here as well because that tends to be the place that we like we get we can agree on the metrics we're like you know we can get some some alignment from leadership around what those metrics are but then it's like so how what data um you know and that's where we hit the wall what tooling <clears throat> and I feel like something that's platform agnostic Gnostic, something that we can fork, or you know, I think there's some an opportunity there, and I'd like to, I'd like to explore it just to describe that better in case it. Thank you, sense. thanks, yeah. Emma. Um, any other comments on ideas that you put in here? Super helpful. Do you have any questions against any of the 15 things that are on the list that you could building building on what Emma said um I was the one that wrote down number four and I feel like those two kind of go together a little bit um because we, you know what Emma just shared is some of some of the things that don't work for our for OSPOs around around some of the tooling and so I would I would love to see us collaborating more closely together to to make to make the tooling around the metrics even better, to make the metrics better, but basically to make things work better for open source program offices from a from a chaos perspective, but also make them a lot more usable um, for OSPOs. Okay, great. Thanks, Don. All right. Any others, comments, questions against this list? Um, so maybe what I can do from this list or what we can do from this list is try to organize um, the comments that are here. I think a couple things might be useful kind of to, to Don's point, like what are the things that go together? We don't have to do it here, but what are the things that, that kind of seem to go together? Um, and then I, I might also like to add... I could do it like as a table, but like a column around things that we are currently doing in the chaos project that might be useful in that particular space. Um, and there are certain things that maybe we are thinking about or are working on in the chaos project. And there are other things that maybe are just haven't been talked about uh, in the project either. So I could try to bring together um, similar ideas in this list and then also include any efforts that I think we're doing in the chaos project that might be moving these forward to some degree. Does that sound okay for folks? Any other things that you might want me to add to that? I got a thumbs up right on. All right, cool. Um, and I can share, I'll just share this in the to-do Slack channel. Like we don't have to wait two weeks. <laughs> to talk about this again. So I'll put together a document or put it together in these minutes. And I can just share that with everybody for some feedback, some asynchronous feedback. Um, super helpful, thank you. All right. Um, I did also just wanna point out that we do have chaos con at FOSDEM. And so if you're gonna be at FOSDEM, 
Uh, Chaos Con is the, I think it's just the day before FOSDEM starts. Um, we are not going to live stream it, um, but we'd love to have you there. Uh, I think it's relatively inexpensive to attend. Is it, Elizabeth, do you remember what it costs? $10? Yeah, something like that. 10 or 20, something like that. It's not so, much. Yeah, we'd love to have you there. So here's some information on it as well. Um, for the folks that are with uh, universities, there is going to be an OSPO++ session that's in, if you didn't know about it, that's going to be at 90 minutes at the end of ChaosCon. So we'd run ChaosCon in the morning. There's going to be uh, kind of a session right after that for 90 minutes with respect to open source in universities. You do have to go register. So Claire had been putting that together. And then in the afternoon for ChaosCon as well, we're going to have a Grimoire Lab workshop. So for folks interested in some specific chaos tools, and we're also going to have an auger workshop. So they'll be occurring in parallel as another piece of software. All right. So it's an all day event uh, that you are encouraged and welcome to join. I did want to point out that in, in chaos con, there is going to be a session kind of similar to what we just did here um, as to to metrics in OSPO. So we're going to be dedicating about 30 minutes to 45 minutes there as well. And we'll report back if you're not able to make it. Um, if you're going to FOSDEM, does anybody, I just wanted to put this out here, does anybody know of any talks that are occurring at FOSDEM, your own or a friend's that are related to OSPOs that we might want to share here? I have a talk in the community track that's about um, contributor growth strategies. So getting more contributors for your for your project and in a way that helps helps you grow maintainers so you're not burning people out. Okay. Uh, the theme of the talk. What was it in, Don? It's in the community dev room. Okay. Sorry, my typing is slow. I've lost a, not lost it, but I heard a thumb. Oh, surprising what. <laughs> um, any others? Um, I have a talk on sustaining free and open source software, looking at community engineering and um, financial practices for sustainable open source. Uh, it's on the main track, not scheduled time-wise yet. Okay. Did I get this tight the title sort of right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> main, main, main track. Thanks. Thanks, Abby. Any others? It'll be great to see people there. Tracky, <laughs> main track. <laughs> it will really be great to see everybody there. All right, great. Um, well, this is great. Um, I think we can, does anybody else have anything they would like to bring up with respect to this meeting? I'm always like the, you know, as my other job as a professor, it's like asking, you know, does anybody have any questions here at the end of class before we get out early? <laughs> Everybody goes silent, which is great. <laughs> but you're free to, to add anything if you'd like. All right, great. I think the action item right now is really just for, for me to maybe, for a few of us, maybe just to kind of assemble um, some consistency in this list and try to bring a few things together. And then I can share that uh, in the Slack channel for everybody. And then, you know, what we could do is just kind of asynchronously take a look at that. And then for the next time we get together in two weeks, which I think will be right before FOSDEM, um, we can kind of take a look and, and maybe start prioritizing a few of those things that we think might be able to move quickly. All right. Great. All right, everybody. I'm done sharing my screen. Look at everybody. It's just a great group of people. <laughs> it was great to meet everybody and great to see everybody. Um, until next time, and enjoy the enjoy the end of the week. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye, bye. Bye.